Hey everyone, it seems like it's time to discuss the royal family again. It's been about two weeks since I did what I hoped at the time would be a one-off, but we're still none the wiser as to what's going on behind closed doors, at least unless you go on X, aka Twitter, where the line between news and fanfiction has become shorter than a list of Rishi Sunak's accomplishments. The royals did try to calm the waters by putting out a photograph of Kate and the children, but then most news agencies spotted that it had extensive and sloppy Photoshop work done on it, so thus raising more questions than answers. In all honesty, it could have been a lot worse. When people saw the headline about the kids being touched up by a senior royal, most of us were wondering where Prince Andrew was. It really is worth reiterating that she's likely just at home recovering from painful surgery that leaves her unable to move very easily. And I'll be the first to admit that I've never once sent a Christmas photo of the kids that didn't involve half an hour of editing. You know, between the Photoshop and the temper tantrums, there's very little difference between a four-year-old and a Hollywood movie star. But as I said, the internet is willing to provide all sorts of possible alternative scenarios. Most of these involve Rose Hanbury, who the non-UK media openly discusses as being Prince William's mistress, because he's the Prince of Wales, and that all worked out so very well for his father. Other theories involve murder and money, although I will say if it does turned out that they murdered Kate and buried her at the end of the garden, then at least they didn't have to ruin a perfectly good Mercedes this time around. It's also interesting to note that the people seemingly most interested in the gossip are those who normally claim to have no interest whatsoever in the national soap opera that is the Royals. I've got a friend from Liverpool who's very anti-monarchy and regularly talks about how he refuses to sing the national anthem because it's pledging allegiance to a bunch of self-important entitled people who we all have to pay money for. And yet he also explains that whilst wearing a £100 football shirt after spending even more money to go along to Anfield every other weekend and spend two hours singing songs celebrating a bunch of prima donna footballers, some of whom similarly claim German descent. Ugh. Anyway, what else is going on in the news around the world? Well, there's a Russian election and the government there is saying that there's evidence of electoral interference, as evidenced by the fact that Putin looks set to receive only 95% of the vote in some regions. And Shigeshi Nagishi, the inventor of karaoke, died at the age of 100. And I'd like to think that his last words were a rendition of a Frank Sinatra song, possibly I Did It My Way. And I'll also assume that at the time of the death, he was with his sister Kali Oki, brother Barry Oki, and his children Larry and Vary Oki. Anyway, see you next week. Like these clicks, subscribe.